I really love to read. But the thing I hate is when I pick up my Kindle and it's totally out of batteries. So today I decided I am going to give my Kindle a wireless induction charger. So we're going to use this book as the base of the induction charger. Other things you'll need is the wireless transmitter, the wireless receiver, sharp cutter, a safety ruler, a pencil, and then you're going to charge. This isn't just for charging a kit. This same technique can be used to charge any USB charge device. Just make sure you get the right receiver. First, trace out the shape of the transmitter for where you want to cut. Make sure you have enough room. Then it's off to the cutting. Be careful! Oh, and a fun fact. Michael Faraday discovered electromagnetic induction in 1831. Electromagnetic induction works sort of like this electric fan and this pinwheel fan. The electric fan blows on the pinwheel fan and makes it move like this. Induction works the same way, except for wind, it's a magnetic field. The transmitter is the electric fan, while the receiver is the pinwheel fan. Finally, make room for the USB plug. For all of them cutting up the space, all you have to do is plug this USB port into this transmitter and make sure everything fits. Yippee, it all fits! Now all you have to do is put this receiver into the device, put the device into its case. For me, it's my Kindle. Then put your device onto the charging base to recharge wirelessly. See how nice my charging base looks? And not a lot of people will know it's a charging base. That's it. If you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Purple Alenti. Bye!